In this battle mech review, we're jumping in with the Vulcan. Now, in Battletech, we've got light, medium, heavy, and assault. And within those weight classes, mechs break down into different roles. Some are generalized mechs, trooper mechs. We explored the idea of a trooper mech. I pushed that up to the Battletech playlist about a week ago. A mech that can excel across a variety of different roles and situations, maps, and scenarios. Then there are mechs that are specialized based on the narrative. A certain house runs this variant, or the mech is created for this situation. And then there are extremely specialized mechs. The idea that in the narrative, a mech was designed to counter a specific situation or a specific time period. And outside of those parameters, a lot less effective, perhaps ineffective. Now, jumping in with the Vulcan, what we were exploring is in the narrative, the Vulcan's kind of an interesting mech because it was designed to combat vehicles. It was designed to take battle tech, battle mech technology, and combat vehicles, combat infantry. Okay, that can be pretty terrifying. Mechs against tanks and infantry, pretty terrifying. But how does that work out on the table? Because as always, we are exploring, we are looking at, we are taking into consideration battle value. Now, generally speaking, and I'm just going to kind of outline this for the new mech warriors and mech commanders to the game, vehicles are cheaper in battle value, can stock more weapons and have more variety. But the disadvantage that they come at is the fact that they are extremely, um, extremely vulnerable to motive hits. They're extremely vulnerable to critical hits. There are different penalties that, based on the terrain that they move through, and certain terrain they can't navigate through, where a mech doesn't have those penalties. Uh, plus, generally speaking, a mech is a little bit more um, versatile based on the ability with its hands, if it has hands, and weapon locations. So when we explore it on a pure Tactica dice level, you'd say, Fritz, the Vulcan just... If I want to counter infantry and I want to counter vehicles, um, go go with tanks and vehicles. Yes, that's that's the pure meta, but there are some potential advantages, and that's what we're exploring. You've got a Vulcan in your collection. You're putting it down. You salvage it from a campaign. You want to keep those C-bills. You're going to use it. How do we use it? Now, it works in a very, very narrow, narrow band, and if we move outside of that band, we start to get in trouble. So what we have here is an Auto Cannon 2. I'm going to be a little critical, not even a 5. We've got an Auto Cannon 2. That gives us range over damage. We've got a medium laser, we've got a machine gun, and we've got a flamethrower. So kind of 2 and 2, 2 for tanks, 2 for infantry, and you can kind of mix from there. Against regular mechs, I, I want to say the Vulcan is pretty ineffective. This is not something that I would attach to a lance, even for the lulls. Light mechs really aren't afraid of it because it only has that auto cannon 2 and the medium laser. Some light mechs pack equal or more and have speed. Medium mechs aren't afraid of it. If you're going to use the machine guns and the flamethrowers and get close, well, you're in range to everything else a medium mech can bring. And on top of that, you're also vulnerable to physical attacks getting that close. So we definitely don't want to run this up against mechs. Running against vehicles... This is where things get interesting. You have the mobility of legs of a battle mech. You've got a mix of weapons. You've got jump jets. You have superior mobility to vehicles and infantry. So how you utilize the Vulcan um, as part of, say, a, a tank battle group or an infantry group, it's, it's a support unit. I don't see it and I don't play it as engaging a tank and finishing off a tank. No, what it's looking to do is to use its maneuver maneuverability and armor to get side or rear on a tank, chew up motive hits, really damage it. It's looking to kind of get a jump on infantry, literally, through positioning, to wipe them out from that perspective. Maybe engage one infantry stand versus two or three with an overlap. It's looking to use the legs, the speed, the jump, the armor to isolate pockets of vehicles and infantry, cause some damage, cause some criticals cause some motive hits and then from there your your other tanks and infantry move in so i see it as kind of a, a support 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 mech as opposed to something that directly say attacks infantry and vehicles if we're looking directly for vehicles and infantry that's perhaps in the domain of a fire starter 
but a very, very, very specialized mech, an interesting machine, fits the narrative, an interesting machine, but definitely, definitely attached to a battle group of tanks and infantry. You're not going to gain much clicking it to a lance. 